Hi submarine friends, welcome back to watching me build my diesel electric submarine. So yesterday I put together my exhaust system, which you can see is pretty darn short. The section that is not cooled is three feet long. And then this section here is about 18 inches and it's water cooled. So I've connected it to the engine. I bolted the flange together, made a gasket, bolted it together. Um, I may not have to change this. I may be able to just install it in the sub and it's going to work, but I'm not counting on it. I may have to cut this, change the angle a bit, and then re-weld it. But I think it's worth that effort to do all the testing now instead of wasting valuable time in the spring um, trying to figure out how to make this work. So what I want to do, I have I have an exhaust pipe that you can't see connected to the top of this that goes right out my door and outside of the house so I can run it all I want. No exhaust fumes will come inside. So I'm going to run it at full throttle for a while and measure how hot this gets. Maybe it's not a big deal. Maybe this will cool it enough. I don't think so. And then I'm going to try different insulation materials, which I have here. And I'm going to see how well I can insulate it and how cool I can get it to run. Now, I could put water-cooled sections in here. I've got room to put three in. Big pain in the butt. Um, I don't think it's necessary, but let's make sure. So, you know what they say about assuming. So let's, uh, let's get it right and do the experimenting. The other thing I want to, I want to check, I've been worried about this fancy new alternator running too hot because it's proximity to the exhaust manifold. There's only three quarters of an inch between the heat shield and the alternator, but there is a heat shield. So I'm going to measure how hot that heat shield gets. I did measure it once already, but I don't remember what the temperature was because I was so busy doing so many different things. So I'm going to make a point of measuring the temperature and maybe it's no problem. Maybe I can use this alternator. If it's too hot, I'll have to switch to a smaller, physically smaller alternator, same amperage, but physically smaller. But I already bought this, so I'd like to use this. So that's what I'm up to. I need to hook up these hoses yet. They're gonna be clamped and sealed. But what I do is I just hook my garden hose right up to this guy. And then I have another garden hose here hooked up to the discharge and that just goes outside and dumps all my yard. And then my expansion tank right here gets clamped to this pipe when I'm running it. So it actually works really well here. The other thing I got to do now is I have to hook up. You see the whole engine is hooked up to this cable. So my temperature control, my starter is on here, my field for the alternator is on here. So I got to wire in some a push button starter switch on here. That's no big deal. Only take me a few minutes, but it all adds up. It's time. So I won't be able to get it going today because I got too many little things to do. But over the weekend, I can poke away at it and uh, see what I can come up with. Wish me luck. Ciao.